What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. Alright guys, so leave it to the devs always putting out some damn content or notices last minute before I go to bed. So we have fairly big news guys. So I know the Malco Reactor has been kind of the forefront of the most recent events that have come out, but if you watch the live stream, which I missed, but I did catch the big news it is now official Critical Threat Sephiroth, the Arrival event coming soon. Now, this is what I've personally been waiting for, and I know a lot of you have as well, and that is to take a stab at Sephiroth himself from the Crisis Core versions in the simulator. Okay, so let's read this from the management team. Starting October 5th, 7 p.m., that is tomorrow at 10 p.m. my time, the event, Critical Threat Sephiroth, the arrival will be held. The formidable enemy Sephiroth reflected in the battle simulator stands before all, all players. By winning the battle with Sephiroth, you can obtain victory draw tickets. And from that exclusive draw, you can acquire limited time weapons and character specific weapon parts. Holy. You know what? This is a two week event period. That's, that's the longest event I think I've seen them put out so far, and rightfully so. This is probably their biggest event to date. How to play. <laughs> you guys don't know how happy I am just to see this right now, right? Because I'm such a huge Sephiroth fan. It's just mind-boggling to me that he's finally here. Okay, so defeat critical threat Sephiroth to draw or to get victory draw tickets. So these are the two tickets here. There's a silver, uh, looks like a platinum and a bronze or a silver and a bronze. Challenge Sephiroth from the event buttons on the home screen. Each va earn various uh, victory draw tickets by defeating Sephiroth, which can be used to perform a victory draw. There are several types of victory draw tickets, and the type and the number of draw victory tickets you can earn will vary depending on the difficulty level. Okay, so perform a victory draw to get a luxurious reward. The hell is that thing? This is like young Sephiroth weapons. Okay, so... You can level up the victory draw by acquiring all jackpot prizes and it is an event exclusive draw where you can obtain limited time weapons and character specific weapon parts. I'm curious how this is going to be ran. To be honest with you guys, I don't know if this is going to be like a whale event or a free to play event or this is going to be just like the Mako reactor where it's kind of balanced and fair across the board. No idea yet, so let's read further. Um, the victory draw has prizes determined for each level. For each level, there are set jackpot prizes, and by obtaining all the jackpot prizes of the corresponding level, it becomes possible to advance to the next level. Okay, fair enough. So win all the prizes level 1, you can go to level 2, level 2, level 3, etc. as you keep winning the prizes. When you advance to the next level, the prize contents will be changed. Once you advance a level, you cannot return to the previous level. This event will be unlocked by completing the Genesis copies in Chapter 1, main section 3 episode 6 of the crisis core final fantasy 7 story please note the event period and contents are subject to change without notice oh my god there might be a possibility they change this tomorrow and be so devastated and crushed okay images displayed in the notices may differ slightly from those in game draw victory draw tickets have an expire have an expiration date and cannot be carried over to the next event holy okay so you have to use these this event may reappear in the future. Thank you for supporting Crisis Core. Okay, so a couple things to note here. There is a weapon for sure that is going to be dropped. It looks like a scimitar. I'm not 100% sure what the stats are on this, but it looks like a one-handed scimitar weapon. Not something Sephiroth would use very often. This looks more like a blade that like Zack would use, right? So that's notice number one. Interesting looking weapon for Sephiroth. So excited to see what this is all about. Number two, you, we can get ourselves some of the uh, stat stream character fragments, which is important because right now you can't get them in the battle tower, right? And I'm on my free to play, so I'm going to show you guys something real quick after this. Um, and then also you can get yourself blueprints. So this is going to be a super, super important event, guys, in order to get young Sephiroth up especially for free to play because for all of us who currently are sitting with Sephiroth weapons that look kind of like this right here let's take a look take a quick look on my on my Sephiroth weapons uh here let me go to yeah filter character I'm gonna need these blueprints because like for me personally look at that 
I've only got one six star weapon, two six star weapons on my free to play, right? So I'm really gonna try to push to get uh, Anobi up to five star if I can. By I might even summon some more to be quite honest with you guys, and then push it to six, or might push Edge Wings up a little further. So those blueprints are like some of the most important things you can possibly get in this entire event. Now, as for the stat stream stuff, if you're free to play like me, most of you, well, if you have a free to play account like I do, most of you guys should have, hold on, some good growth, enough to get Sephiroth through most of his stages, right? I think they've given us a lot of those, but I am still lacking, like, look at that, 0 out of 20, I'm still lacking a lot, right? Like, I can get up to here, no problem, because it doesn't use any, but Sephiroth, my Sephiroth personally is very unfinished. Because this is what happens, right? And as a free-to-play, you're not purchasing packs. You're just kind of going through it with what's given to you in-game. And right now, in-game, it's there's not enough given to you at all. Like, look at this. My Astral Gate is 4. My Ardent and Flare is, is 4. Like, I can't get any attack ones. Can't get magic ones right now. Um, I can get these health ones for sure. So this is going to be a great event for free-to-play especially to get their Sephiroth up there in the rankings as well because everyone's using Sephiroth right now as their main DPS in the Mocha Reactor ranking so because this is going to be now hand in hand and going in tandem the possibility to get these stat stream fragments are going to help a lot of free to play advance their account even further right because most whales already have this maxed out this is it's not a problem even dolphins probably have this maxed out like I have a maxed out on my on my main account where I spend right but on this account you guys can see I'm lacking quite a few of the actual Sephiroth fragment. So awesome news, love to see it, and this is gonna help quite a bit to make Sephiroth even stronger than he already is. So kudos to that. Now, like I said, the last thing I'm, cur I'm curious about is the weapon. I have no details on it, guys. There's been nothing going on. I will say, I believe there's a Halloween event that's gonna drop very soon as well, so keep that in mind. So that's why I'm not spending on summoning anymore, because I don't know what the Hall Halloween event's gonna actually be pertaining to and how we have to acquire the currencies. All I've been working on right now, just so you guys are aware, is the battle tower. This evening, I got myself to level 50 on my free-to-play account right there. You guys can see I've attempted it. I've almost killed the last boss. I'm just missing literally 3% health, and I die every time. So I think it's just a DPS check because I'm fighting this at the level of 108 right versus 183 so i'm almost there i want to get a guide out for this to show you guys how i'm doing it but i think i need to get at least 110 to be able to push this and finish this last boss all right so i'm hoping that whatever weapon that comes out from sephiroth can assist me in doing so i can take tifa out and put sephiroth in and have that taken care of completely by having more dps with sephiroth because tifa just isn't cutting it for dps but she is there to reduce the attack of the boss which is the astral giant again right all right guys i'm super super excited for tomorrow man i can't i telling you i can't wait i cannot wait let me know what your thoughts are on this guys um the game just continues to impress and is just leaps and bounds above most of the games that i play in terms of content that they drop and just the balance that the game is providing so again i'm hoping that balance maintains with this event so we'll see you see you all tomorrow i guess and see how they handle it and hopefully we get a little more detail tomorrow before the drop. If not, then 10 p.m. Eastern time, guys. Sephiroth is coming. I'll see you guys there. Take care.